Now, let's pretend that this is not just a single song, but this is a live set with multiple songs in it. So I've recorded this set live, and now I want to bounce each song individually. So how do I do that? Well, I select my folders. I select a portion of my timeline. Let's say that, for example, here is where my first song ends. And then I'll hit Option Command C. What that's going to do, it's going to create a print here, six folders, and I can call it Song 1. And what's cool about that is that the duration of those files are precisely the duration of my song. All right, let's pretend that this is my second song. So same as we did before, we're going to select this as the second song, Command Option C. And that's going to add another print. And we're going to call it song two. 